Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we are going to be touring the island of Fairy Box by Ayumu Plays. I'm going to put a link down to her channel in the description below as well as the dream address. Fairy Box, as you might have guessed, is a fairy core island. Um, the flag is absolutely adorable. It does say that fairies are welcome and she thankfully left us an outfit so that we can um, cosplay as fairies while we're here to fit in with the locals. I can't wait to show you this island. It is super cute and very, very fairy core. So let's get started. Okay, so this might seem obvious, but I'm gonna start at the entrance. And here the rent entrance, if you can tell, is about one square off from being centered to resident services. And the way she worked around this was by creating like this little roundabout way on both sides. So she did the path like kind of around um, this way. So you really can't tell. And then she blocked it off with a giant vine. That was incredibly smart of her and a really great use of space. It's kind of filling that symmetrical, but not completely vibe. Um, it's symmetrical, but just a little bit enough different to still be very whimsical and fairy core. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the left. I've been going right all night tonight, so we're going to go to the left this time. And over here, we have our Able Sisters right at the entrance in case you need to get an outfit to get ready to be on this island. She's using this green twinkly kind of fairy path, which is really cute. The first thing we're going to come to is a little neighborhood and we have Rosie on one side and I believe this is Francine on the other and they're, oh my gosh, the little uh, plushies are facing each other and playing like Rosie and Francine would. That is super adorable. I love fairy core islands. They're very whimsical and just really sweet. I'm, I'm definitely not a fairy core queen, um, but I love seeing the way fairy core islands are done. There's just so much variation, and it's so like it's just very whimsical. And I love the way that that feels, the way it looks. All of the pinks and the blues over here, and all of the glowing items are absolutely gorgeous. I love me some glowing moss and if you come to this front beach right here it is decorated in natural decor and um, there's a glowing pond right over here and I love these they're so much fun to play with and then I'm going to continue along and look at these back cliffs over here it looks like there's a lot of terraforming <gasps> oh how pretty that is so this view right here is absolutely stunning. I love the way this came out. It's super gorgeous. I love the terraforming on all of these cliffs right here. The waterfalls, everything just looks so beautiful, especially at night. The night sky really enhances this island so much. It is so pretty. Okay, we're gonna, what's this? A petal parasol? Oh, cute, okay. So we're going to head this way over here. I should probably pick these items up as we're coming over here. And the sign says, beware of fairies. I do have that sign on one of my early islands as well. I did do a fairy core island and it was also pink and cherry blossom season at night. At one point, it was like my first island and my daughters wanted me to do it um, because they played Animal Crossing. So I, I did. Um, I never did it again. <laughs> so yeah. In the front, we have this beautiful shell area. It is gorgeous. I love the way that looks with the pearls dropped and the heart crystals. It is really stunning. And over here, we have a terraformed peninsula. This also looks very, very pretty. There's a little path right here that you can go through, and it just feels so magical and fun. You can just go through the cherry blossom trees like this and there's some dirt pathing underneath and it feels very whimsical on the beach over here we have some pirate items which i always appreciate i do actually love gullivar's items and then over here i believe this is a gyroid farm i'm afraid it's not okay oh okay so we can dig up the farm let's see 
I'm gonna try it. <gasps> oh, look at us. We got a petaloid. Very cool. So over here, you can come and dig up gyroids if you so choose. And that is a really cute feature. And then right along this side of the cliff, there's also another little pathway that is also very whimsical. And if you look, the cliffs right next to it, above it, are just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to continue my way back. I got a little distracted. And here we have a little butterfly rock garden. This is super cute and super whimsical. I love the dirt path around it. And I love the way the rock placement is so perfect. It has a lot of pink and purple flowers around it. It looks absolutely stunning. Now the beach right next to this area is also incredibly beautiful. There's a gorgeous little picnic area right over here. And I love the fencing on the beach, which I never use and I should because it's super cute. We have a little um, plushy party over here. I do love me some plushies, so that is really cute. And then we have a ton of flowers and a little mermaid area in the back. The mermaid area is so fairy core. Like everything about this island is very, very fairy like. So I'm going to go ahead and go up this cliff right here. And this is gorgeous. We have some beautiful terraforming once again. So pretty. And all of this is just to overlook the campsite down there. Um, this came out absolutely gorgeous. We have our little garden gnome friend here. And if you look at it from here, it is beautiful. This island is gorgeous. So all of the terraforming is stunning. Um, I'm not sure. I think she shares all of this on her channel. I really did just watch her last island tour video and I haven't had a chance to dive further back into her videos. I just discovered her as a content creator. She's super adorable though. So if you guys love fairy core and you love all of the pink, you should definitely go and subscribe to her. She's very, very sweet. And I thought she was like a teenager, but she, she let me know today that she isn't. And I felt so bad. She's a very young at heart and she seems she has a very youthful um, vibrance about her. And I really do love that. It's absolutely beautiful as a person. She's just beautiful to hang out with. So, you know, some people, they seem like they were born with the island designer tools in their hand. Like it seems like they've played five versions of Animal Crossing and they're an old hat at terraforming now. Like it just feels that way. Everyone seems like they're so good at this now. And here I am still struggling. We have this glowing moss pond over here, which I love in this beautiful enclosed little fairy area. It really feels very ethereal at night. And I love the way this came out over here. I love riding through the glowing moss like this. It just it's just so fun and it makes you so happy. And even from this view right here, it does look really pretty. I love that. So moving right up here to the next house. Oh my gosh, we have Maple. I love Maple. She really is an absolute sweetheart. And if you look at the view of this house, it is absolutely gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. I believe she said that she had decorated the villager houses. And now I see that, um, that I did not hear her wrong. The villager houses are decorated. Maple is looking so pretty in here with her little sparkly teddy bear. She is such a cute little teddy bear cub. I love her. Sorry, girl, there's no point in talking to you in dream addresses. <laughs> so we're going to continue along this way over here. And there's a valiant statue on the cliff in front of me and these backwards facing waterfalls that I believe there is a, there is, there is a waterfall and a little water situation happening in the back. That's really cool. Okay. Do you see this? This looks so pretty. The house looks gorgeous. I love the pink. The cliffs surrounding it look beautiful with the peach trees just behind them. It's a beautiful, like kind of enclosed area. I love the emperor butterflies up on the pillars behind there and the giant vines. 
Everything looks very ethereal, very fairy core. It's so pretty. Okay, now time to look at the inside of this house. This bear is getting ready to munch on some cute little pastries right over there. I do love me some bubblegum KK inside this room. This is like literally my daughter's dream. And yes, my daughter's 21. Um, but this is her dream bedroom. She would love a My Melody bed and a little gamers area like this in all pink. She really is a fairy core queen herself. So this room straight away reminds me of my daughter. Do you hear me, Rin? So we are in the back room and it looks like there is a Hello Kitty kitchen going on back here. This is super cute and super kitschy. I love it. I love all of the cutesy vibes on this island. This is adorable. Okay, so in this room on the side, this is actually the restroom and it is a cherry blossom room. Wow, I would have never thought of anything like this. I love the windflower fan over here. That's really cool. She has a windflower fan on top of the wardrobe. The bridal bouquet is up above the bathtub. It looks so pretty in here. I mean, I don't know that I would want to actually use the restroom in there. It is very pretty. I assumed the basement was going to be safe because of um, it being a fairy core island. I should know better, um, and but aside from this evil being right here, everything appears to be um, pretty, just pretty. <laughs> so yeah, it's very cute. I love the squeakoid over in the corner, and I'm just going to pretend like she's not there. Upstairs, we have a really cute bedroom. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This actually makes me wish I had little girls again. Uh, my daughters are in their 20s now. Um, my youngest daughter is 18. So I do wish I had little girls. This is this would be like their dream room. Actually, it's probably their dream room in their 20s now, but it's, you know, still, it is so cute. I love it. I love this little fluff machine. I always use it in my Build-A-Bear kind of builds. So that was the inside of her house. I found it to be very cutesy and fun, and I really did love it. Speaking of cutesy and fun, Tutu is on this island, and she is actually a peppy I don't mind ever getting. She's really cute. And here we have Cookie's house. Cookie has a really cute setup in her house as well. There's a beautiful large teddy bear right over here to keep her company. It's sitting on a little rug with a pink gingham and white lace. It's super adorable. And she has a little swing outside. It's so pretty. I do love that. She even has a pink little puppy friend. <laughs> That's so, so appropriate for her. And then if you just follow this path along back here, um, you will come to a little fairy circle. So this fairy circle is really cute. It has different size stumps, which I never usually see, and a lot of star fragments on it. It is so pretty. So let me see if I can't get you the best view in the house. I love this. This is super cute. I do love the bushes and all of the um, bug models, all of the butterflies. It's just really pretty. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to make my way to the other side of the bridge right here and see what we have going on. Here we have a little path and it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, there's such a pretty little path right here and it overlooks all of this beautiful terraforming and there's a teddy bear picnic right down below. I really do. This is gorgeous. I love the way this looks right here. I love the tables with the tablecloths. This is so cute. And I just noticed that up in the tree right over there, there's little fairy houses up there. That's so cute. Oh, that's precious. And then a beware of fairy sign, of course, because you have to watch out. Those, those little girls are dangerous. And then there's a door that leads to Narnia. 
I'm not sure. It leads somewhere and it's super cute. I love that door code. That's really sweet. Over here on this beach, we have a lot of shell art items and some little horsies getting married, seahorses. Super cute and a bubbleoid over here. He's adorable as well. Just all of the pink and definitely fairy core vibes. We have some golden items right over here, which is really nice and um, beautiful. And I like that she put a little bamboo in the ground right here. And I love the way it squishes down when you run over it. That's really cool. So over here, we have the teddy bear picnic that I showed you just a minute ago with another one right over here with the little teddy bears right there. I will go to the views in front of this in just a moment. I just wanted to take you this way really quick because here we have a little mush forest and one of my favorite things about fairy core is a mush forest. It's so pretty. And then we have the little gyroids over here and something that says don't pick me. So we definitely cannot pick any of the mushies up. We definitely should not. But the little mush forest leads right up to the museum. And I just wanted to show you this view of the museum right here with the valiant statues. Everything is absolutely stunning. This is gorgeous. There's more of the mush forest continued over on this side. Super pretty. I really do love that. Okay, I'm going to make my way up. Aw, she says she's a little fairy. How cute this is. We are right behind Resonance Services right now, so we're going to go to the little neighborhood that I missed before. And this is a little neighborhood with, oh gosh, I can't remember her name, and Chrissy. Super cute villagers. What is the duck's name? If you guys remember the duck's name, let me know down in the down in the comments because I actually don't remember. I can't for the life of me remember her name. But this is a cute little neighborhood right here. I love the little waterfall and the bench right above it. It's so um, fitting, very whimsical and cutesy. Really, really nice right here. So just because I can't give you a really good view of the terraforming on this island without actually coming up here, I just wanted to show you right now how many layers and how detailed this terraforming is. There's so much detail here and it's so pretty. You can't really get the best view of it from down below. So I wanted to just show you really quick what it looks like up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know her name now. I had the opportunity to ask her who she is. And here we have this really cute neighborhood. And they seem to be in pairs, all of the neighborhoods. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. Tutu and Bob live in this neighborhood right over here. Super cute. I love the way this looks. I don't know if the puppy is to keep Bob off of Tutu's lawn or what. But that would kind of make sense, right? Um, that's one way to keep the cat away. So when you exit there or you go straight back from resident services, there's this really cool arch path right behind it, which is really cool. We're going to go ahead and head back to the views that I didn't show you on the other side. So right over here, we have a beautiful crescent moon pond. These are not very easy to make, so it is incredibly beautiful and I really appreciate this view. I love the way it looks. It came out absolutely gorgeous. And I know that she is very happy with it. So I'm very happy that she was able to make it. It looks beautiful. I love all of the nature, the weeds, and the glowing moss. It all looks so good. And there is our teddy bear picnic happening right behind us. So right up here, you have the opportunity to lay down in a field of flowers. And that is so pretty. I love that. And there's also a bench right here if you want to sit down right there. Okay, so now exiting resident services to the right, we have our nooks cranny right over here. And we do have some villager houses. It looks like we have a bunny over here. Super cute. And we have a doll. And I'm going to ignore it because those things scare me. 
And then we have this little neighborhood up here and it's so cute. Look at how pretty it is. And then on the beach, there's some beautiful decor up there as well, as well as Bunny. Bunny's OG and she is super cute. So her unicorn Julian does have a star fragment farm right over here, which is so fitting and so appropriate. And I love the colors. The colors look amazing on this island. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to make my way to the right all the way. And I just want to go to the front. So right here in the front, there is a teddy bear campsite. How cute is this? This is like the cutest little beach I've ever seen. I love it with the little puppy and the teddy bears and Papa Bear over here keeping an eye on the babies. And here's where we have Cap'n's Pier. I do love the curved street lamp over here. That looks so cool. And um, I'm going to go ahead and walk through this path right here be and appreciate it because look at this. This is so cool. I love that. And this leads us straight back to the Crescent Moon Pond. As a side note, I wanted to take a moment to appreciate the little dollhouse set up on the pillars. Those are super cute. And I really like how those came out. I love um, seeing the... It just gives you the feeling of fairy houses and then with the night sky and the glowing pink in the sky. It just looks so beautiful. Everything looks so pretty on this island at night. We are a fairy sitting in a tree now. I have dreamed it, so it is true. I'm going to leave you with this magnificent view right here. Um, I know you can be anywhere in the entire internet and you chose to spend your time with me here for a little while and I appreciate you so much for that. I hope you really enjoyed this fairy core island as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Again, make sure you subscribe to Ayumu Plays for more of this magic that we have here on this island and just for her darling personality. She's super precious and I do love her voice. I love listening to her. So hopefully you guys enjoy her as well. So a link to her channel and the dream address will be down in the description below. Be sure to go and check it out. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.